What's up everybody? Want to do a video about the install and a review on the Vivarium Electronics um, Radiant Heat Panel. Going to make it short and sweet. I don't want the video to be too long. Um, there's a lot you could talk about with heating, but I don't want to get too technical. So let's just get into it. So this is what we got. It's a 40 watt panel. Um, perfect size for a 4x2x1 by by cage that is in a room with an ambient temperature above 75. So everybody has a different application. So depending on your situation, you might need a higher wattage panel. Um, so let's get into the construction of this and the cage temperatures. I can tell you I'm gonna have a 90 degree hot spot and then all the way down at the cold end, it's gonna be anywhere from 76 to 80, you know, depending on the time of day, the time of year, those kind of things. So I have the panel mounted towards the back of the cage. You can see it there. We'll get some temperatures. We're underneath the panel, obviously. So we have a steady heat source. And then as we come towards the front and away, you can see still very good temperatures. Um, let's go to the cold end quick. It's probably gonna be about 76 or 77 right now. Yeah. So, radiant heat panels do a great job of not just giving you a hot spot, but also warming more of the enclosure as opposed to flex watt. I really like flex watt. It does a great job for racks and cages for that matter. But I just think a radiant heat panel is superior, although they are much more expensive. Um, like I said, this is mounted towards the back. So essentially, you have no cord in the cage. Um, they really can't climb on the cord anyways. You know, you can tape it to the ceiling. You can zip tie it. Um, Ready um, Reptile Basics gives you a little clip with a screw. So you could also put that around the wire and screw it to the ceiling. But, you know, if you mount them towards the back or the side, there's really no way that a large snake can get over it. Um, the panels themselves can't be climbed on. As you can see, there's nowhere to go. This is a one-piece shell made of Noral. I, I guess, uh, you know, Vivarium Electronics used to use ABS but now they're using Noral. The probe, I use the same hole for the cord to put the probe through. I dangle it. Many ways you can do this. Some people I know will put it on the floor or they'll put it towards the cold end. I've always just had mine dangling. Um, yeah, the mounting screws, so he gives you three of them. They're the perfect length to go through the panel into the cage, but not through the top of the cage. I really like that. Um, one piece construction. I might have already said that, I can't remember. Um, I think that's it. <clears throat> so the other thing I want to talk about real quick since I've had multiple panels in the past from different manufacturers was the heat dissipation, you know, through the top of the cage. So there's basically, I can't really even feel it. You know, slight warmth, you'd expect that. Uh, my pro product panels I've had, I've had a lot of those. Um, they were much hotter. 
So, you know, if you're stacking cages, you got to be aware of that because you're only going to get, you know, a, a, a hot spot in the cage stacked above on the floor and from above, obviously. So I just wanted to let people know to be mindful of that. I think either way you should be stacking um, your cages with an air gap, you know, regardless of flex watt or a heat panel. I think it's just beneficial for heat dissipation. Uh, but these definitely are not producing as much heat on the top here. Other than that, I think I covered everything. So, great radiant heat panel. I have nothing bad to say about it. We'll see you in another six months. But as of right now, the first couple weeks, um, I really like it. Really like the construction of it. Um, there is no outgassing. You know, you plug it in, you basically smell nothing, a slight odor that goes away really quick. Um, so, the, um, the heating element also is UL listed. I've heard a couple things out there about gassing and not being UL listed and stuff. I'm not going to get in any of that garbage. Um, I can just tell you, I really like this panel. It's doing a great job so far. So I hope that helps. Have a good day now.